Hey folks, Asia the CEO here, and we got ourselves another little toy to play around with from Ubiquity, and this is the Door Hub Mini. This is a mini door hub, duh, <laughs> this for controlling a single door. Um, so I just got this in. I wanted to play around with this because I'm debating about using some of these on a big install, unified install that's gonna happen here in Chicago um, pretty soon. So I wanted to see how this compares to the bigger one. Um, or against the Ultra, to where that is a door access reader and um, it controls the door too. So let's go ahead and open this up and let's see what you get with this and we'll go and set this whole thing up. So let's punch in a little bit. We got a whole bunch of Unify stuff here. Um, this is going for $129 compared to the $199 for the bigger version. It still does require PoE++ power. Um, so I have a cable on the floor here that's connecting to my switch that provides that. So we got the device, obviously. Get the wrapping off of here. All right. We'll come back to the parts. We got our mounting screws. We got a wall hook to put that on there and the manual. And that's mainly it. So let's look at this thing now. So if we punch in here and hopefully we're in focus. All right, so on the top, we have a dry or 12 volt one amp power switch, depending on if you're connecting it to like electronic strikes or magnetic locks. We're gonna test out both of those. Um, in here, we have connections for our exit request. So that'll be like the button that I have around here somewhere. Oh, oh, and that's connected to my ultra. So, so we got our exit button. So this will connect to that way. Um, we have our locks or so normally open, um, our communications normally closed. Then we have a position sensor for positive and negative that will connect to that. And that's mainly it. So, with the magnet, we would actually connect that to um, communicate, I mean, for calm and normally close so that the magnet will always be engaged. Now on the top of here, let's punch in some more. So hopefully y'all can see that. So in here we have our PoE line in, and again, this is PoE++ that's needed. Then we have two devices that we connect. So if this was a reader, you can connect it here or you have another one that's gonna be for exit. So if you want to use like a motion sensor for input and I mean, getting in and getting out, that's where you can connect this to. I don't think you would be connecting a camera to this, but I could be wrong when it comes to that. So that's mainly it. So let's go ahead and get this thing connected. We've got an ethernet cable here. Let's get this powered up. And boom, there we go. And I have my other cables here for my camera, not my camera, my um, magnetic lock. So that is gonna be 12 volt power here. So we'll do our positive and negative on here. So we're gonna use calm, I believe, red, and then normally closed. Of that. And again, I could be wrong when it comes to each one of these. We'll look back over this to make sure I got this right. Because that's the positions. That wouldn't be this. If I had the, the Unify magnetic lock, it has the four ones, so that would have a door position and it has the commands. But let me just make sure my cables are properly seated here and it wasn't seated because that cable came out way too easy. All right, it's there. And normally we should get a light on here that this lit up, but we'll come back to that. So now let's go over to the computer and let's see how this is set up and maybe we get this adapted and we can play around with this stuff a little bit more. All righty, we're back here on the desktop. Now let's look here and 
I need to get rid of this floodlight for when I did that one. I thought I deleted that. All right. So we got that up and out of here and we're looking for the devices and there it is. There's our hub mini, but let's go to our access. And let's go ahead and adopt it. I still have the um, ultra for us there and it needs to do an update. Device updates are required for faster door unlocks via mobile. Okay. Well, just let us let, uh, let's let it do its update. <laughs> then we'll be back when that's done. All righty. We got everything updated. So let's go ahead and look in the settings here. So we can click and do an unlock here. We can pair it with devices. Um, you know, you can pair it to any of your cameras. If this was a door, you know, external door, interior door, I don't really have anything connected to that. So, but I'll link it to garage for right now. Um, so it can now show that camera there. If we had other sensors and things like that, we could connect it there. It is one thing though, I cannot pair this with the other sensor that I have. Cause I'm assuming that the other sensor is its own thing. Um, I wonder, cause that sensor actually you swipe and that's per door. So, um, that's kind of like why originally I was going to go with the ultras at at least for, um, first United Methodist. So I can put it on each door instead of it. That way it can make it easier to run cables. I just run an ethernet cable there and don't have to run all the other lines, but, um, this could work. And I think this is going to work well for the place where I'm thinking if I don't keep this, what this would do. So again, we can pair it with whatever. So that's our entry. We could have another one that is for outside. So if we had an interior camera, if you wanted to capture who's going in and out. And um, we got our insights, none, because we haven't done anything. If we go to our settings, then if we go to terminal man, oh, well, let's go back. This is where we can give it a name or you want to name each door. So like for me, maybe this would be server room um, that I'm going to install um, where I'm going to place it at, or maybe this might be um, office or whatever like that. Um, go to terminal manager. That's where we can set everything. So again, I have, um, close active. So that's where the magnetic lock is. You see it's providing 12 volts, one amp of power. I don't have an exit request connected to it. If I did, that should show up. Um, so it's showing all the activity of here. If I was using the door position sensor, we can set the trigger level for what that's going to be as well as the exit request. So when that trigger is hit, it will go to um, a normal open. No, that's right. If I hit it, then it will flip to open and then un, um, unlatch the door. So very straightforward. Not a lot of stuff to go along with this. I mean, we can set our IP address in the main um, unified networking app. Um, but that's mainly about it. So, um, you know, <sighs> Where is this good for? I mean, if you don't want to have a humongous box and you want to save the price on the box and how much this costs, um, I think this is going to be a good option. And then for me, um, I, I wish there was a way that this could be done without PoE++, but I kind of understand probably, especially if you're going to hook magnets and all this other stuff up to it. So it's kind of understandable why you would do that. So, um, and actually I'm was completely off when it comes to the price. So the door hub is going for 199 and the mini hub is 129. So you're saving yourself 70 bucks on that. Um, and all the other big ones get more expensive when you do the gate hub, the elevator hub and all this other stuff. So the mini hub is actually the same price as the access ultra. Um, and I got to think, where would I want this? This could be something to where, I mean, you're going to need some type of sensor. So I guess you have a choice here. If you have no issue with wanting to run cables, security cables that go from here back to the door, or you want this nowhere near the door. So I guess that's one reason why you would want to get with this is somebody, I mean, you would be very destructive to do this. You could possibly rip this out of the wall and get to the cables to undo the door. I mean, that's feasible, but you have a hub like this, you can, Maybe say you have a server room, like I'm going to have it. I can have this in the server room and I just run wires to it. And especially with a electronic strike, you disconnect the cables. It's not going to release the door. So 
you got to think of the placement. But again, I like the fact that it's not as expensive because I think the enterprise version of this is like a thousand dollars for the yeah, it's a thousand dollars to control eight doors. Um, but then you do eight doors with that eight times 130, you know, you're, you're almost right at the same price, um, for that a little bit more than that, but it all depends. Um, I do like the fact that you have options that kind of lowers the price for entry. And this is makes it a little bit easier. If you want to do one door at a time, maybe you want to just do the media booth. Maybe you just want to, um, have one for, if you have a safe or where the trustees are or something like that, you can do this one at a time and the control is inside the room. Um, but again, just want to give you a, a high level of what this is going to be. Um, if I take this one with me to Chicago, I will go in detail of getting that installed. But really, it's just <laughs> mounting the anchor place, clipping it onto the anchor, and then running the cables like we just did and configuring it. Um, so that's about it. So that is the Unify Door Hub Mini going for $129. Link is going to be down below. I did get this one directly from B&H Photo because I needed to get it faster because they're closer to me than ordering directly from Ubiquity. But I'll have a link to either one of them. Um, and that's about it. Let me know if you have any other questions because we will be holding on to this for a while before I have to install it. And you never know. I might just keep that one just to have it with my set and maybe buy them another one when I go up there. So um, you just never know. Anyway, let me know if you have any questions down below. And I try to get to all those comments as best as I possibly can. And I think that's about it. So if you like this type of content, appreciate a like, consider subscribing, hit that bell. The way you get notified when we come out with other videos to help modernize your media ministry. Thanks for watching, folks. This is AJ. Catch you on the next video. Later. <music>